magandang araw sa inyong lahat. The Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer. In the various ministries and states in life, with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga, pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga lady na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries at sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. Niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao. At sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang Lectio Divina sa kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spiritu, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the Word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Sa Leksyon Divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyon. Ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso. Bigyang pansin ang kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento ang mga taong nakasangkot. Mga salitang ginamit ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ebanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari, nasaan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin. Sa mga narinig nating sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya, ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos, ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi, ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito, mga kapatid, ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay? At itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Lectio Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine. You are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Leksyo Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. 
kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloob. Ito ang layunin ng leksyon. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina.
Today, we celebrate the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and a Mass presider is Reverend Father Alexander Palatpat. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God, our Creator, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Savior, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God, our destiny, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. The Lord is just in all His ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon him.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet, I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for their usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, this last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? 
Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. The landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And then he also saw people, even until five o'clock, they were standing there idle all the day. Walang trabaho. Sounds familiar? Ang hirap ng walang hanap buhay. Simula nung nagkaroon ng pandemic, nagkaroon ng lockdown, walang trabaho, nagsusumiksik sa tahanan, bawal lumabas, walang hanap buhay. Idleness, a representation of a life that is hopeless. Kapag walang hanap buhay, parang nawawalan ng buhay. Hanggang kailan? Hanggang saan ang haba ng PC ng pagtitiis? Wala nang matanggap na ayuda nakakapagod, nakapanghihinayang. Kay sarap pa naman lagi ng may ginagawa, lalo na kapag may napapatunayan ka. Kaya nga ang ilan na malapit ng tumanda, magre na, natatakot pa. Salamat sa aklat, ni Brother Dean Pax Lapid, The Secret of a Happy Retiree. Hindi yung magre-retire ka sa ginagawa mo, ang takot daw. It is not retiring from, but retiring to. Ano ang susunod na kabanata kapag wala nang ginagawa? Gone are the days when we were strong. Tumatanda na. Dati ikaw ang sinasandigan, sinasandalan. Ngayon ikaw na ang nakasandal. Dati ikaw ang nag-aalaga. Ngayon ikaw ang aalagaan. Mahirap bang tanggapin na sa buhay, darating ang araw, wala ka nang gagawin. Sukatan ng halaga ng tao. Sa mundo, mahalaga ang tao kapag may pakinabang, kapag may gamit. Lahat ng gamit ay mahalaga pero hindi lahat ng mahalaga ay gamit. Ang tao kapag ginamit, bumababa ang halaga. Ang tao ay mahalaga dahil siya ay tao at hindi gamit. Nawawala ng pag-asa kapag walang silbi. Ang may-ari ng lupa nag-aanyaya. Madaling araw pa, naghahanap na. Tatayo-tayo lamang kayo, hali kayo, pumunta kayo sa aking ubasan. Lumabas siya ng madaling araw, lumabas siya ng alas 9 ng umaga, ng tanghaling tapat, ng alas 3 ng hapon, at ng alas 5, magtatakip silim na hinahanap pa ang mga walang hanap buhay. Nakita niya, tatayo-tayo lamang. Marami siya sigurong nakitang nawawala ng pag-asa. Hali kayo dito sa aking ubasan. 
ang ubasan ng pag-ibig, ang ubasan ng pag-asa. Noong ibibigay na ang sahod, may nagreklamo. Nagreklamo ang naghanap buhay ng umagang-umaga pa lamang. Tinawag yung mga magtatakip silim na pareho ang tinanggap ng kabayaran. Bakit ganon? Kami ang nagpagod, bakit iba ang kumakain? Hindi yata yun ang issue kasi ibinigay naman ang napagkasunduan. My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. Masama ang loob ng iba hindi dahil natanggap nila kung anong napagkasunduan. Masama ang loob ng iba kasi bakit pareho ang tinanggap? Nasanay kasi tayo sa isang buhay na hindi pantay-pantay. Nasanay tayo sa buhay na mas maraming nagawa, mas maraming matatanggap. Mataas ang pinag-aralan, mas marami ang makukuha. Mas mahaba ang pangalan, mas malakas ang kita. Kaya kailangan yung pangalan mo na dudugtungan. Alexander Balatbat, ABMA, DD, PhD, STD. At habang humahaba, lalong nagiging kapaki-pakinabang. Hindi ito ang patakaran ng buhay sa Diyos. Sa Diyos ang lahat ibibigay. Sa Diyos ang lahat, pantay-pantay. Ang araw sumisikat sa masama at mabuti. Ang ulan pumapatak sa masama at mabuti. Wala kang patutunayan sa Diyos upang pag-ibig niya'y iyong tanggapin. Hindi hanap buhay ang pinag-uusapan lamang sa Ibanghelyo. Pinag-uusapan dito kung papaano tayo ituring ng Diyos. Walang naiiwan, walang naisa sa isang tabi. Lahat tatanggap ng biyaya. Kapag may nalalayo, hindi siya mapakali. Hinahanap niya mula madaling araw hanggang takip silim. Kung may mga pagkakataong para mong binitiwan ng Diyos, ang Diyos hahanapin ka niya, hindi ka niya bibitiwan. At ang tatanggapin mo ay higit sa iyong karapatan. Ang lahat ba sa buhay ay karapatan? Nakabatay lamang ba sa ating pinagpapaguran? Bilangin natin ang lahat ng ating natatanggap sa buhay. Tingnan ang lahat ng karanasan at larawan ng ating mga pinagdadaanan. Ang kung ano mayroon ka, higit sa iyong Karapatan. And you will be surprised what we have, we do not deserve. Because what we have is more than we deserve. And every time we see what we have more than we deserve, we see them as a gift. And every time we see them as a gift, we could not help but to say, Thank you. And every time we say thank you, God will say, You are most welcome. Pinag-uusapan natin kung ano ang ating dapat tanggapin. If grace is receiving something that we do not deserve, Mercy is not getting what we do deserve. If grace is receiving something what we do not deserve, mercy is getting nothing or not getting 
what we do deserve. Tinitingnan ko ang aking sarili. Ang dami palang dapat tanggapin ko dahil sa kapalpakan ko. Dahil sa kasalanan ng tao, hindi ko tinatanggap yung mga bagay na dapat tanggapin ko. Ni minsan hindi ko naramdaman ang parusa ng Diyos sa mga pagkakamali ko. The Gospel talks about two things. God's generosity God's mercy. His generosity, His mercy, they do not come to an end. The greatest love of the Lord, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Natatanggap ko ang napakaraming bagay na higit sa aking karapatan. At yung mga bagay na dapat tanggapin ko dahil sa aking kapalpakan, hindi ko natanggap. There were many laborers waiting for a job in the gospel, but they remained idle the whole afternoon. Most probably, they don't deserve the work. Most probably, they do not deserve the trust. Most probably, they always commit mistake. But the Lord, the landowner of the vineyard, would always say, Come, go to my vineyard. Let us celebrate life. Let us celebrate the grace. Kung minsan hiyang-hiya na rin ako sa Panginoon, sa dami ng aking kapalpakan sa buhay, pagtitiwala niya ay hindi pa rin nawala. We are celebrating the Eucharist tonight. Alam po ba ninyo kailan nagsimula ang Eucharistia? It was on that night of Holy Thursday. What was the prevailing context at that time? I will read that in the Eucharistic prayer. On the night He was betrayed. Sa gabi ng pagtataksil, doon niya sinabi, ito ang aking katawan. Pinagkatiwala sa atin ang isang napakagandang daluya ng biyaya, ang Eucharistia. Kailanman hindi napahinto ang pag-aalay ng sarili ng Diyos, hindi na pahinto ng kataksilan ng tao. Generosity, mercy. If grace is getting what I do not deserve, mercy is not getting why I do deserve. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, 
consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus reveals to us the Father who is good to all His children and who is not outdone in generosity. Full of trust, full of confidence, we pray to Him. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That church leaders and laity alike may zealously work in the Lord's vineyard, content with the promise of heavenly reward, we pray. Loving Father, hear, hear our prayer. That government leaders, policymakers, and businessmen may answer the people's needs for more decent employment, we pray. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That labor and management may settle issues through honorable and peaceful bargaining and dialogue, we pray. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That family members may realize the importance of each other, and the need for daily dialogue and encounter with one another. We pray. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That all those who have died may see God's eternal embrace of peace and lead them to everlasting life. We pray. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Loving Father, hear our prayer. In a very special way, we include in our prayers the special intentions of Mike and Julie Defensor, Stephen and Lani David, Red and Portia Cruz, and family, Freddy and Noemi Aguilar and family. Regis Romero II and family, Nori and Anselm Balatbat, Abel and Josdada Pangilinan and family, Hill and Ani Haveliana and family. The Desource Company, the Eventic Manila. Marina de Guzman and family, Ricky and Mari do Rosario. We also pray for all the souls in purgatory, especially Benny de Mesa, Benjo de Mesa, Vio and Marina Shaw, Alan Tenko, Lito Tenko, Juan Francisco Miguel, Anselmo Balatbat, Peter Candal, Mercedes Malang, Catalina Turla, Gregoria Gumabon. Modesta Pangan, Crisanta Malonso, Father Larry Sarmiento, Father Nomer De Lumen, Father Sherwin Bulaon, Father Larry Faraon, Father Joel Victorino, Father Rico Hilario, Father Mel Cortez, Father Larry Paz, Father Fernando Suarez, Archbishop Oscar Cruz, 
Bishop Manuel Sobrebinias. Nora Lozano. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, us without end, we acclaim. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Nolly's Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in His sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May all loving God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Servir